So we have a cyclist that is traveling in a horizontal plane and the friction coefficient in the plane varies with the distance from the center as this function. So k is k0 into 1 minus small r by r. So you can see here as small r approaches capital R, the surface becomes quite frictionless. So here it is very rough and at the edge of this path it becomes very slippery. We need to find the radius of the circle where the cyclist can ride with the maximum velocity and what is this velocity. So you can think qualitatively that initially when the cyclist is trying to circle in a small circles, so its turning radius is quite high. But friction coefficient is also high. So the chances of slippering are being balanced. And as you approach for the bigger radius, I mean at the edge of this path, the radius of curvature becomes larger, but friction coefficient also becomes smaller. So you can see that we cannot definitely say where the cyclist will slip more, where the chances of him slipping are is more. So we need to calculate and find out where on this path at what distance are are his chances of slipping are least or in other words where he can ride with the maximum velocity and what is this velocity. So let's assume that velocity is at a distance r. So because it's going in a circular rounds its acceleration will be towards center and the only external force on the cyclist is because of the friction. So the force that is causing this acceleration is also frictional force. Now we have considered this distance r where he is almost slipping. That means the frictional force must be maximum. So that's how we will start our equation. So at maximum velocity without sliding, friction must be at its maximum value that is k times normal that is kmg. So we'll write fk is equal to ma on the body and k this becomes kmg the maximum value is equal to mv square by r. So from here we get the value of velocity the maximum velocity a cyclist can ride at at a distance r. So v this is v max which we have got as a function of r. So we need to find the overall maximum velocity so we'll differentiate this with respect to r to see where we get the maximum velocity. So that's what we'll do. So we'll do dv square by dr and we'll see that occurs at r is equal to r by 2. So at r by 2, the cyclist can travel in circular rounds with maximum velocity. And the corresponding velocity is you just put this uh, value of r here and you will find that this is the vmax. So just to be clear, I have written that v what we got here is vmax at a given r. And this is the overall Vmax. So there's no term of small r here. So for overall path, this is the Vmax. And for given r, this is the Vmax.